before we actually kind of move into this, I would just quickly like to show you um, a video. Hope you can see the, so this is again in continuation with uh, what we have seen yesterday. Um, we've actually touched upon these different roles, uh, like, you know, we've got business analyst, systems analyst, process analyst, uh, UX, and then, you know, the front end and then change or agile analyst and data analyst. So depending on this, on which kind of focus area you have, you can actually try and if you're a strategic business analyst, if you're more into the technology and, and if you're more into the processes and workflows, then you can get into process analyst. So that's, it's, it really, there's no uh, one size fits all. There's no one thing greater than the other. It's all about the blend, about the mix of the skill set, and we're going to again talk about the skills and um, the competencies in the upcoming session um, next Wednesday and Thursday. But just to talk about the specifics here, I've got um, this particular um, presentation to actually show you with what is what is it that the BA would really bring onto the table. So they would, as a BA, your responsibility and your expectation is that you should be able to connect with different people, you should be able to connect the dots in the first place. If you look at uh, the, the, the banner image of uh, the course that we have got, it's all different, the, the background is of different dots and then they're, they're all connected through the line. So that's actually kind of a metaphor, a semantic for the business analyst role. So you should be able to connect the dots and then be able to actually uh, derive some insights and then uh, engage with the, uh, with the right stakeholders and that's what it is. There could be these connections could be in terms of people. It could be with respect to the technology. You should be well versed. Again, as we discussed yesterday, you don't need to be a technology expert or a technical person, but you you're expected to be a tech savvy person if you're an IT business analyst, which means that you should know the different tools, different technologies that are available, the platforms, uh, what is what, and if if you really want to get into the IT business analyst role. But if you really want to be on the other side, which is the, the domain business analyst or the subject matter expert BA, then obviously you don't need to know, know the intricacies of all the technologies, but um, I would suggest, and that's where um, I've actually kept this name of my company, Tech Savvy, about 10 years ago, as Tech Savvy. So we should all be uh, tech savvy uh, professionals. We don't need to be technical because technology keeps changing. We can't keep up with technology. We can't say that we are masters. So. But, but then it's important that we know what is what, and that's where we would need to connect these various dots and then be able to deliver the, the products, the solutions. Um, so that's what we need to do as PAs. Then we also need to, once connected with these, we need to really engage with all these different um, stakeholders. We need to engage them. And that's where Vinny was talking about the workshops that she does, about the discussions, the interactions with the team in the form of uh, refinement sessions, the sprint ceremonies, um, and also the informal discussions that you have with the team for estimating. Uh, and she was also talking about the design thinking, which is actually a very good approach or method for um, uh, engaging people and then trying to uh, come up with good ideas that really work, not just ideas, but you're translating that ideas and the concepts into something that is packaged uh, best as a product feature. So you, you would engage with the teams in, in such a manner in a lot of different ways. You also did, uh, as business analysts, we tend to engage the external stakeholders, our customers, um, some of the competitors, for instance, you might actually go to some competitor. And nowadays it's all about cooperation as what we call it. It's not competition, it's all cooperation. We tend to work with the competitors, uh, perhaps form some kind of uh, uh, a group. It's not a cartel, it's not something like where you, you try and rig the price, but we tend to work with uh, the other competitors to define the standards, to set the rules for the industry as a whole and to set a direction. That's where we, uh, we work with, the, uh, with all the stakeholders. We work with the regulatory bodies. We talked about FDA, we talked about health um, uh, monitoring agencies and things like that. Um, so we as analysts need to work with all these external bodies, not just customers and users or external to us, but also there's all these associations and bodies and, and, and companies and firms which are external to, to us as a, as a team. And also we tend to work with the, um, with the uh, internal teams, other teams, not just with our team, but also other teams in our organization. We engage with them in different ways, uh, in quality control, quality assurance, as well as the other aspects. So that's how we as um, analysts need to engage.